I just ruined this girl's hair. I'm not gonna be able to do this. I'm gonna fry her hair and she's gonna end up leaving with hair like this long. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Welcome this beautiful Monday evening and thank you for being here with me. I hope everybody is having a great afternoon, a great start on their week and are just as excited as I am to be watching this video. For those who don't know me, my name is Astrid Diaz. I go by Astrid Balliages on Instagram and I do hair for a living. So today's video is gonna be a different one. This is like a story time slash video reaction on how the heck I made a color correction for myself and if I was able to fix it. Watch this video, let me know if, if you like this kind of videos where I show you a little bit more in detail of what is it that I do and I explain to you what was going on in my head. So if you're very intrigued just like I am, keep on watching. So, before I start playing the video for you guys, I kind of have like a background story on this whole shipping. So, my friend Jasmine has been getting her her blonde for years and finally decided that she wanted platinum blonde. So, she went to another salon and sure enough, they got her very blonde and did a bleach out. So after a couple months of doing that over there, she asked me if I could do her hair because she wasn't 100% happy and they did quite of a mess. She did have a lot of breakage coming in and she had a lot of bands. So she had like different types of blonde within like the back area of her hair and pretty much all of her front was very fragile and some of it was broken. It was just like a no-no. Um, we did her bleach house probably two times after that. However, I am a very busy person and he, she is a very busy person. So our schedules did not collide for her to be getting her hair done every six weeks. We decided to let it grow out. I basically created a color correction for myself without knowing that that was gonna happen. After a couple months of her letting her hair grow, she had like a very strong line of demarcation that she didn't like. So I low lighted her with a demi-permanent color that actually ended up being not demi-permanent. The toners that I had put on her hair were extremely dark in comparison to the swatch book. And also, they almost like stained her blonde. They didn't make it blend, it was just like, they just made the root even darker. So after a couple washes and after a couple weeks, me and her weren't liking it. So I did decide to do a Malibu treatment along with a crystal gel to take off the excess of color so that way it wouldn't be so dark. So that brings us to this video. This video, before anybody says anything, it's a learning experience for myself. I think like sometimes we are overconfident of ourselves and don't think of the consequences of trying new things. And I thank God tried it with her and she's my friend. I definitely did not think that it was gonna be as bad as it was. I'm just rambling at this point. So let's start the video. We started with her hair all blonde. You can see all of her grown out hair and this is where the problem started. You can see a band of her growth and then a band where the old toner was. So I did very, very thin sections on her hair and I did full baby lights and not saturating what was blonde already and just worried about the new growth. When I tell you she has a lot of hair, girl. She has a lot of hair, so it took me a while to baby light her whole head. I was using very low volumes so that I could do very tiny baby lights and I would get maximum lift. Once some sections were done, I would do a combination of water and shampoo so that way that section would stop lifting the foils and you can see like she had a very clean lift. I washed it and just left it alone so that way it would stop processing and I was able to go back and foil. That was after two hours and a half um, and I was not even done with the back of her head. So you can see that I wasn't overlapping where the blonde was, even where the demi-permanent color was because there was blonde under So Astrid, why, why, what is this? <laughs> like, <laughs> first of all, this is very comfortable. Look, I mean, I wish you guys could see her, her pose. I can't, I can't get it, but. Her whole head took me probably over four hours to foil. Once I was like close to be done, I was like, I'm gonna die. Like, I don't think I'm gonna... Okay. <laughs> I thought everything was gonna be fine. I was doing those like, you know, Instagram moments where it's like, oh yeah, she's 
pulling off the foil and the lift is so clean and, and everything is perfect. And then I rinsed it off and I went like, what the heck? I had created a, a color correction for myself. She had perfect level 10 roots and then she had this thick level 7 band and then level 9 ends. So I did a wet polish on her hair using Schwarzkopf, Blonde Me Professionals, and Trionics. I needed to make sure to not overlap what I had already bleached. You can see where that orange band started. So I fully saturated the orange band and then I just ran it through her ends. I was very detailed and everything. So that way I wouldn't have any more banding left. I didn't saturate the ends because I didn't want to over process them but I did want to lift them evenly so that she wouldn't have a band when it was dry. A lot of like how I was thinking was I just can't have any orange left. And even if it's less blonde, that's fine. Like she doesn't have to be white today. I just have to give her a pretty look. So at the end, she was full of foils. I was just teasing her a little bit. You can see that she was all embarrassed and stuff. I left her for about 15 minutes and after that, like, her hair lifted so well and you can see that clean lift and then I thought why not I mess with her a couple times so it's okay <laughs> So once I rinsed it off, I shampooed and then I treated it with a cocktail enzyme from Torionics for about 25 minutes. Her hair was a lot better and my heart just rested. I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> So whenever I do shadow roots, I do like sectioning off in the four quadrants and leaving the perimeter out. So I always start on the back and I make sure to put foils so that way I don't overlap anything. This time I use my very trusted Redken shades to tone. I use the level 7 to shadow root so that way it blends out and not have that harsh line of demarcation that everybody hates. I made sure to do like, the perimeter at the end. That way it wouldn't be so dark around the perimeter. Don't start smiling now, that's creepy. <laughs> Once I was done with the root, brushed everything out, and then I put the rest. And you can tell how fast this works. By the time I was done with the front, the back, you could see that it's a little bit purple because I used violet tones. So then after that, after everything was toned and ready, then I decided to have a little bit of fun and add some um, pink on her hair. She was like freaking out and didn't want me to do it. And I was like, come on, I just saved your head from the color correction that I made. Why wouldn't you want me to put pink on your hair? She actually ended up really liking it and I was like, no que no? I thought you didn't like it, huh? So this is the final result. We finished very late. We took 10 hours and 56 minutes. That is insane but I was able to correct her hair. I was very glad that I was able to pull this off. So because she loves me, she came back the next day so that I could take pictures in daylight. Her hair looked so good. You could still see a little bit of that warm tone on the top of her head, but I was not worried about that. I had a lot of fun doing this. It was very stressful and I cannot believe I created a color correction for myself. But I was glad that I was able to tackle it and know how to fix those things. And I think that's when I really realized the level of education that I'm taking. It's working and I'm able to tackle those things. I was very happy and pleased that everything came out good. Her hair looked freaking awesome. After the second session, we were able to completely erase the warm tones. And now she's just a person that I love to experiment new things with. And she just lets me because we build up a trust after that. That is something that pushes me to try new things. And I just have a lot of fun. Never again am I causing myself color corrections like that. That is it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing week. And hopefully this video started your week on a positive note. Let me know what you were thinking when you saw that orange man because... I don't know about you guys, but I was freaking out. I was freaking out. I was like, okay, this is it. She's not gonna be my friend anymore. <laughs> so yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and ring the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. And don't forget to share this with your friends, let them know what I'm doing, 
and help me out in this YouTube world. If you want to follow me on my other social media, this is my Instagram, AstroBaliages. I had so much fun editing this video. I did upload a smaller version on my Instagram. I just felt that it needed to explain everything that happened and how I was feeling. So I decided to make it a video. I had had so much fun editing and interacting with people. I think that's my favorite things about social media. So I just can't wait till more of you start commenting and liking and everything so that we can interact with each other so if you want to give me more ideas on what is it you're wanting to watch on my youtube see so if you want to know anything else about me if you want me to try new things new products new tools i will gladly do so i cannot wait till you guys see next week's video but until then i will see you guys next time Ooh.